Okay, here's a problem uh, that's asking you to calculate the potential difference between two points, A and B. Uh, in particular, they want VB minus VA. Um, the electric field is downward in the negative y direction, has a magnitude of 330 volts per meter, and then the coordinates of the points A and B are given, and they want us to calculate using the dashed line path, uh, meaning you're, you're integrating the electric field as you go from you know A to, I call this point C, uh, A to C, and then from C to B. Okay, so if we are trying to, uh, so there's more than one way to do this. There is a one very quick way uh, to do that. But if you want to um, look at it the more formal way first, right? If you use the general formula for potential difference as the negative integral e dot dl, and we want to write it as the path integral going from a to c and then from c to b, uh, we could do that, right? So, uh, so this can be written as uh, delta v, which is v b minus v a. Uh, we can write it as, you know, integral e dot dl. Uh, you first go from uh, a to c, and then you go from e dot dl. Uh, you go from c to b, and the e is pointing in the downward direction, so it's 330 volts per meter in the negative j hat direction, right? So if I use that, uh, and also uh, when I'm doing the integral from A to C, I'm going in the upward direction or in the positive y direction. Uh, so I can draw a little dl uh, along my path here. So, so this can be my dl, right? And the dl here is going to be dy in the positive j direction, right? And I could draw a little DL uh, over here. Going from C to B, the DL will be a DX in the positive um, X direction or I hat direction. So with that, I can write this down as negative integral uh, A to C. Uh, e is a negative 330 J hat volts per meter uh, dotted with a DL, which is DY times j hat, right, minus uh, you have integral c to b and your e is negative 330 j hat dotted with dl which is dx times i hat. So um, so this ends up being, this is equal to um, minus of minus, that's plus, and j hat dot j hat gives me 1 and j hat dot i hat gives me zero, so the second term is zero, uh, or in other words, C and B are at the same potential, right? So this ends up being minus of minus, so that's plus, so 330, multiplied by integral dy, which is just y, right? So that's just integral dy, and now I can put the limits uh, going from, y is going from negative 0 0.7 to 0 0.4, right? So this is equal to at 330, multiplied by 0.4 minus of minus 0.7. So that's 330 times 1.1, right? And that should come out to be 363 volts. Okay, so that's the potential difference uh, between points um, B and A. If you're thinking, isn't this a long way to do something that was so simple, you're absolutely correct. Uh, you could have very well said, well, you know, this is the distance D that really matters, the distance D that's parallel to the electric field, and that's uh, 1.1 meters. So all we needed was, you know, we, we could have just said, um, uh, we could have just said that um, um, delta V is um, negative E times D, right? Um, so that is negative ED, and so you could have said all I need to do is this is 330 volts per meter. I multiply the by the distance that matters that's along the electric field, you know. So that's your negative 363 volts, right? So this is the delta V going from B to A. So if you really just want the absolute value of that, you can get that. 363 volts. 
And then you need to say, well, point B is at a higher potential. It's higher up in the electric field compared to A. So VB minus VA has to be, has to be positive, right? So, so you could write this as uh, VB minus VA is 363 volts, right? So that's totally okay to do as well. And I want to say, uh, if you were trying to do it uh, using this one, that's also okay. So this is kind of an overkill at this point. But anyway, uh, if you want to draw your delta R vector, right? Delta R vector. So, so here I'm using this expression, right? So then I could set up the dot product. I could say E is a negative 330, you know, volts per meter in the J hat direction, dotted with delta R. And delta R here has an X component and a Y component. So the X is your 0.65 minus 0.4. So that's your um, 1.05 meters, right? So 1.05I plus 1.1j. So you can very well see a minus of minus is positive j dot i. j dot i is zero, but j dot j is one. So you end up having this to be just a positive 330 multiplied by 1.1. Exact same thing that we have in units. This is volts per meter and this is meters. So the whole thing ends up being 363 volts, right? So you can pick your choice, but obviously the easiest would be just to say it's E times the distance, and then you can, you can fix the sign for it.